to the chicken once everything is cooked when everything is on top. So I just went ahead and dust it. So first let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put my chicken in first and next I'm going to sprinkle a little olive oil on it because I like to season my chicken first. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of kosher salt. of Italian seasoning, probably a little over a teaspoon. I season quite heavy. I like my stuff to be flavorful. Teaspoon of garlic powder. chicken in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add, this is probably close to two cups of diced celery. Two cups of carrots that have been skinned and sliced. And again, you don't have to use this much. You can use a little or more if you want. But I'm making a pretty big batch and I like to put lots of vegetables in my soup. This is probably close to two cups of sliced red potatoes. You don't have to use red potatoes. You can use white, you can use Idaho. I just use red because this is what I had in the house. And I'm gonna add, a, this is one whole yellow onion that has been diced. Some minced garlic. Tablespoon of minced garlic. You don't have to use this much. You can use a little or more. I like to use garlic. Add some onion powder. 
bunch of salt. Garlic powder. Cayenne seasoning. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And I love coriander. So I'm going to put some coriander seeds in there. Just a few. And then notice like once it's fully cooked, the seed softens. Um, so it's not really that hard to chew. But you can take them out um, after a little while if you don't want them in there. Or you don't have to put them in there at all. But I like to. But when I give it to the baby, I definitely make sure there aren't any in there. I'm going to give that a mix. Clean up. And honestly, I feel like every time I make this soup when somebody is sick, their recovery time is so much faster. And then what you, you have a choice of what you could do. You can either bunch all your herbs together and wrap them in twine and stick them on top. Therefore, it's easier for you to take it out um, once your soup is almost done. But I don't have any twine today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on top. And that's the reason why I, um, I'm not taking it off the sticks, off the twigs, because it'll be easier for me to fish it out. Um, and I take it out for the reason of, if you leave it in there too long, especially the bay leaves, it gets a little bit. So usually when the soup is almost done, probably like maybe an hour left or less. That's when I fish it out, but it's up to you. So I like a lot of herbs in my soup, so I'm gonna go ahead and add oregano. Yeah. All right, and another herb that I like to put, but I can't seem to find right now, is tarragon. Tarragon tastes so good in my soup. Fresh thyme. And three bay leaves. Now you can use dry bay leaves, you can use dry herbs, but I like to use fresh herbs because this really gives it a fresh flavor. And I like to add some lemon juice. That's sweet, lemon juice, that citrus flavor just adds so much to the soup. So it's up to you, but I'll probably use one whole lemon. And another thing if you want to do, um, if you want to put noodles in your soup, you can go ahead and X out the potatoes and just use noodles. Um, but I decided just to use potatoes. So I'm just going to push that in. I kind of like to leave it on top, but I want to push it down just so it can seep down into the bottom. And again, it, it's because you're leaving it on the, the stems or the, the twigs or sticks, um, it'll be easy to find. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure everything is covered with cloth. And that's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my top on. So I'm gonna put it on high for four hours. And that's about it. Check back in in a couple of hours and it should be ready to serve. Okay, so it's been about four, four and a half hours. Um, let's check on the soup and see if it's ready. Yep, definitely ready. Oh, it smells so good. Here is my homemade chicken vegetable soup. Try a bite right now. Oh my goodness, it's really good. Mm. Nice and tender, very flavorful. All right, well, that concludes my video. Um, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and go ahead and click that bell icon so you can get notifications of my new postings feel free to leave me a comment to let me know if you tried it also um what 
on some of the soups that you make. I'm always open to trying new recipes. So go ahead and share them in the comments box below. And that concludes my video. I'll see you next time. Bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> He's silly boo.